Hi everybody, it's January 9, 2018. It's 2018. Oh my God, 2018. And we still have so many people who are denying what is happening right smack in their face. All of the geoengineering, the chemtrails that are being laid out right smack in front of them, denying weather modification when there is mountains and mountains and mountains of evidence. So this is what I'm going to say to all of you in California. You need to download all of the evidence. You need to print it out and you need to slap awake your fellow Californians because you are the state that is going down fast. They are using these weapons against you and people are dying. People are losing their homes. Enough, enough, enough. These people who still choose to be willfully ignorant, they have blood on their hands. They are your enemy. Because they, refusing to face reality at this point when it's so obvious, they are creating a reality in which we all have to suffer the consequences. But you guys out in California that still have your homes, they are absolutely your enemy, and they will, if they don't finally grow up, do the research, acknowledge reality, acknowledge that we are at war, they are putting you in jeopardy. Five people have been killed by the mudslides. Homes destroyed. Anybody who leaves a comment and says, well, it was only a couple of homes, I will tell you, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Think twice about doing that. Because it's not thousands of homes. It doesn't matter. It matters if one person lost their home in a mudslide. Because they are then the casualty of this war they have to suffer the consequences. Put yourself in the shoes of all of the people who have lost their homes due to these fires, Northern and Southern California, all of the people who have had to bear the consequences of this drought, man-made drought in California, all of the people who now have to suffer the consequences of these mudslides, put yourself in their shoes. Please. A powerful winter storm that dropped record rain. Record rain. Bodies were found in mud and debris during rescue operations in Montecito. Crews rescued other res residents from inundated homes as mud and debris from wildfire scarred hillsides flowed through neighborhoods, trees and power lines down, thousands without power. Rain continues to fall from a huge winter storm that was man-made, not God, not natural, not Mother Nature. And your governor, Jerry Brown, Moonbeam, is making such an utter fool out of everyone in California who chooses to remain ignorant and you actually listen to that guy who is such a sick, twisted psychopath. 30 miles of US 101 shut down along the border of Santa Barbara and Ventura County. Here's a picture of a police car stuck in the mud. I'm so unbelievably sick of this going on. God, what are we even looking at? Are we looking at frequencies going through this? captured what he believes was an explosion on security footage. 
This is security cam footage of the explosion in Montecito. Yes, there was an explosion. So, what is it? What? What? It sure does look like. frequencies. And I'm going to go to IntelliCast once again because the ultra low frequencies are right smack in your face. 20,000, over 20,000 evacuated. Northern California, not just Southern California, but Northern California. Flash flood watches issued for parts of Sonoma and Mendocino counties north of San Francisco, warning that the rains that were saturating the area Monday night could trigger mudslides in the areas devastated by October wildfires. Here, this is a woman who was a 14-year-old girl who was rescued. She, the, the house, got uprooted from its foundation, and she was stuck, stuck in her home. See, I think a lot of people are getting just so desensitized to this kind of catastrophe that they don't really care. I would suggest that you don't leave comments telling me to relax. Because all I will say to you is, if you're relaxed while this is going on, there's something wrong with you. Don't leave me comments telling me that God is in control. Ruptured gas line that sparked a fire in the Montecito area. So, uh, you know, bitter cold is exactly what we should expect from global warming, says Al Gore. How could any adult American actually take this guy seriously? How could any adult American believe the abject lies that this guy spews from his mouth? He is a disgusting, just reprehensible, he's a disgrace to the human race. And people still listen to this guy? And they will, everything is about climate change? Scientists shocked 99% of Great Barrier Reef sea turtles are now females. And it's due to climate change. It's due to global temperatures. They're turning female. Uh, mostly all turtles now are female. It has nothing to do with the endocrine disruptors. It has nothing to do with the chemicals. No. It's climate change. And I'm sorry. I, I don't have any kind of uh, patience for people who are adults who just will not ever do the research. Santa Barbara Cal Cloud Seeding Project in coastal South Southern California. This gives you a good history of the weather modification projects in Santa Barbara County. Okay? Santa Barbara County takes your tax money and spends it on weather modification. They take your tax dollars and give it to companies like Weather Modification Incorporated. Why would we have Weather modification services, companies, commercial s companies, 
that provide weather modification if it does not take place. Santa Barbara County Water Agency. Your water agency spends your money to increase precipitation. If they can't do this, then why are they giving your tax dollars to weather modification services companies to perform to perform weather modification? Why does Santa Barbara County give your tax dollars to North American Weather Consultants, another company that has been incorporated since 1950 to provide weather modification services to virtually every state in our fabulous union. Why? If they can't do that. If we are considered to be conspiracy theorists who are just out of our minds, why do they have commercial companies providing these services? Santa Barbara County, since 1981, has been, via its water agency, providing weather modification in Santa Barbara. Is this not upsetting that we have so much evidence that California alone has been conducting weather modification operations since 1963. This is a, a document of weather modification operations in California. October 1, 1963, September 30, 1964. And who was the governor then? Moonbeam's father. Now you got Moonbeam. And you think that this man doesn't know? He does know, but he gets out there and he makes fools of every one of you who believe him, believe his lies when he talks about climate change. This is being brought to you. All of the quote unquote natural disasters, the fires, the flooding, all of it is coming to you deliberately to destroy you. And if you don't wake up now, more and more of you will be destroyed by your fabulous moonbeam governor who allows this to occur. And then he lies to you. But I'm sorry, it has become so obvious. It is sickening how obvious it is now. And here, the table of contents of that document back in 1963 to 64, active weather modification li licenses, Weather modification operations in California. The calendar of weather modification operations. Targeted areas of your weather modification operations. But it was it was it really just in the 60s that this started? No, state of California weather modification operations in California, July 1952, June 1956. Look at IntelliCast. Look at all of these. Ultra low frequencies being set off in California to manipulate, to modify, to steer the storms that are taking place as I speak. So here are the ultra low frequencies outside of Bakersfield, but this is current. This is current. Let me pause you to get what I recorded earlier. Here you go. A whole lot of frequencies being used for this storm. Another man-made catastrophe that the individuals who believe who believe the abject lies 
being told to them about climate change. Frequencies were just look at how angular defined the lines are. South of Bakersfield, we've got frequencies. They're, the frequencies are all over the place. Look at this. Look at this. Santa Maria, all of these frequencies. Still frequencies going on in uh, Washington State. This is Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, where they have the mudslides going on. Look at all of these frequencies. Look at this frequency up here. Yeah, it, it's, it is very, very upsetting when you see all of this that is absolutely being uh, used as a weapon of war and you just can't get through to people. It's a brilliant, brilliant weapon of war. But they're not hiding anything. It's right smack in our face now. The frequencies, ultra low frequencies, all throughout this storm. Here again. Everywhere you see defined lines. That's man's hand. Way down here, Santee, San Diego, the whole thing. Deliberate. To make you suffer more. And I see the crossing of these beams, which is very dangerous. So, yes, I'm posting for just the purpose of documenting Cedar City Utah this is Utah right yeah uh, <laughs> ultra low frequencies you got ultra low frequencies in Nevada. You've got them in Utah. You've got them in California. And you also have them up north. As you normally do. Right here. Looking like they're coming out of Spokane. Look at all of the defined lines in right into Montana. What do they care? Why do they do they need to hide anything anymore? They know that the majority of the American people are incapable of facing reality. Incapable. They love their lies. They love people like Al Gore to tell them the inconvenient truth. They love it. Because it doesn't require any effort on their part. The laziness of Americans, the narcissism of Americans, it's killing us. 
It truly is. Killing us. So, what else do we have? We have an awful lot of laws. Worldwide law. United States of America, federal laws pertaining to weather modification. State laws, California. You have laws regarding weather modification. Programs, weather modification operations in California, 1952 to 1956, operations in 1964, operations in 1972. You didn't need to have your drought. That was deliberate. How do you wake these people up? I, I, I don't know. They're zombies. They're robotic zombies. Weather modification, the law. California now admits to using weather modification in hopes of creating rainfall. Your state even admitted it. But, but you have so many Californians who, who look at you guys who are in California, you know what's going on, and they call you crazy? Do not, do not back down with these people. Do not get afraid of them. You, I, look, how long can we just go on being afraid of people who call us crazy? You really have to put all of the evidence together and just slam it down. Put it in their face. Just in the last couple of months, we have had millions of people. Houston, surrounding area, Florida, Puerto Rico, California, those who had to suffer the consequences of the winter storm that Al Gore is now claiming it's climate change. You have your governor, Moonbeam, who tells you that this is the new normal. The new normal. Get used to it. Get used to it. You have Wikipedia. Wikipedia. How easy could it be for Americans to just put in weather modification and Wikipedia comes up, weather modification in North America. Weather modification in North America has been taking place since the 1950s. Programs related to this field have been authorized by the governments of both the United States and Canada. Alberta Hail Project, Project Storm Fury. In Southern California, you happen to have an awful lot of programs going on. But here, hell, yeah, it's a short page, you, it's Wikipedia, but it's Wikipedia, okay? This company in Australia, Acquiesce. We can bring in the oceanic rain, and we need to be conscious it's not about delivering rain on land, it's about nurturing a rain system that can promote agriculture to protect the people involved. So in all cases, we want to make sure we don't get flooding, but we can deliver timely rain in a gentle soaking manner into agricultural targets. Technology relies on a signal that, we, that we're able to generate that um, triggers a response from atmospheric patterns. So we're able to observe this using satellite meteorology extensively available now to everyone who's got access to broadband internet. But we're able to um, utilize that signal sent in sequence to generate a um, incremental deviation in the flow path of these oceanic 
atmospheric rivers. So the source is the ocean, the course, the vapor, um, the typical moisture flow is in the atmosphere. The winds drive this with the pressure systems, adjusting the path of least resistance. But our technology is able to interface that and hack into it, if you like, and make some micro adjustments to allow deviations to occur in the flow pathway. This is how we broke the drought in Australia in 2005. This is how we put out the fires in Victoria from Black Saturday in 2009. Okay, so your fires could have been put out and your drought was unnecessary. Unnecessary. You know, look, I'm about the information. I don't care. Well, I do care, but I don't have the energy. My videos are what my videos are. And I just hope that you too are about the information. And please give it to your fellow Californians. And if they continue to refuse, to refuse to look at it, to face reality, then they are absolutely 100% the enemy. They're making a choice to be the enemy. They're making a choice to be part of, complicit with the destruction of your fellow Californians who are dying because of mudslides, who are losing their homes because of fires, or these heavy rains that are taking homes from their foundations or destroyed by the mud mudslides. I, um, and you can tell them that. And you can tell them how unbelievably immature they are. And you can tell them how unbelievably self-centered they are. And you can tell them how unbelievably irresponsible they are. And at this point, frankly, with all of the destruction because of the deliberate weather events that are taking place, anybody who has in their life the enemy, yeah, I'm going to say this. I don't know how you could possibly have some some human being still in your life that is clearly someone who is just a programmed robot, not a human being.